Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you, and I'm going to be showing you here a tutorial on how to play Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This is an average level tutorial, but all tutorials are for everybody. This time, we're going to be covering how player movement affects throwables, or what I'm calling it for the title of this thing, NADE PHYSICS! Now, you can't actually curve nades, that's ridiculous, but you can affect the starting velocity of the nade as you throw it in relation to the world. Now, before we get right down to things, we're going to have to go over some physics. So let's say you can throw a nade at 5 units per second. Doesn't matter what units we're using, it's all conceptual levels and stuff. This means that you're standing still, and you throw a nade, and it comes out of your hand with a starting velocity of 5 units per second. And if you throw it directly straight out in front of you, it goes forward at 5 units per second until the, the game's gravity acceleration decreases the vertical velocity enough that it eventually hits the ground. Pretty straightforward, right? So now, let's add player movement. If you're running forward at 3 units per second, and you throw the nade, you're throwing it while you're already moving at that 3 units per second. So you add the 5 units per second of the throw to the 3 units per second of your movement relative to the ground, and the nade is thrown at 8 units per second relative to the ground, faster than if you were standing still. This technique can be used to throw nades faster and further distances. Remember kids, the angle to throw a projectile to optimize for range is 45 degrees. That means halfway between the ground and the sky. This is incredibly important for throwing smoke grenades, where you need to get them to land at a specific point on the map. And you can pretty much throw them across the entire whole map. Um, using this technique makes you like Brett Favre. So we've covered throwing nades while moving forward, but does it affect the nade while you're moving in other directions at different speeds? Why, yes! Try this, kids! Or I'll stop the kids thing, that's stupid and patronizing. Walk backwards and throw a nade. Notice it doesn't go very far at all. Now let's go back to our example. You're moving backwards at 3 units per second. You throw the nade forward at 5 units per second. This means that when you release the nade from your hand, it goes forward at 2 units per second. By golly, he's mastered physics! And science! Okay, so now what happens if you're moving sideways? Well, let's say you start moving to the right at 3 units per second, and you throw the nade out forward at 5 units per second. The nade will retain the 3 units per second going to the side, and will also have the 5 units per second going forward, sending it diagonally out at approximately 5.83 units per second at about an angle of 31 degrees out from right in front of you. Then, if you take the reciprocal of the coefficient, you'll find that Euler's number, raised to the power of pi multiplied by the square root of negative 1, is in fact equal to negative 1. So how is this applicable? Oh, I got something. Uh, so if you're moving to the side and you want to throw the flash around a corner, uh, you aim right at the corner and it'll just not do that. It'll bounce off the wall and flash you. Instead, you need to aim away from where you're aiming, a little bit to the left here if you want to go around this right corner while you're moving right to do it properly. So now, how do you do all this fancy physics in your head when you're playing Counter-Strike and there's bullets whizzing overhead? Well, you really can't. So instead, you gotta use some good old-fashioned Kentucky windage, and just kinda eyeball it. So we've covered moving forward to throw nades further, moving backwards to throw nades slower, and moving side to side to throw nades kinda weirdo sideways stuff. It'll, you know, it'll come in handy someday, trust me. So what happens if we throw nades while we're moving up or down? To the laboratory! It's pretty much what you'd expect. When you're falling, the nades will go down pretty darn fast. And when you're jumping, they will go upward pretty fast. Let me show you how this is applicable with my favorite frag grenade throw in the game. Let's say you're holding down mid on Inferno, and you know there's some baddies right around the corner near the bench. If you throw the nade to bounce off the wall to hit them, they will hear it bounce, and they'll see it coming, and it'll just give them a little bit more time for them to get out of the way and lessen the damage but we don't want to just get close to them, we want to destroy them. So you try throwing it over the wall, assuming it'll go down. It doesn't do much better than uh, your previous attempt. Now to incorporate science. Jump up, and when you start to go down, throw the nade. 
If you get it over the top, it will go down very fast, uh, fast enough to hit the ground. It'll blow up exactly where you want it with no warning. Remember, kids, physics is applicable everywhere. I'll leave it to you to experiment with these throwing techniques to find out really cool combinations of movement and how they affect throwing. And also, remember, I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.